Thanks. I am super excited to share with you how you could take your CNC and modify it to do loose tenon mortises for around $60. It's easier than you might think. Step one, you're going to be mounting your router sideways. Step two is you have to make yourself a platform that will elevate up your boards. The way this jig is set up is I could mount boards out this way and I could flip the board over and as long as I cut the mortise in the center of the board, I could cut more mortises on this side. If I want to cut more in the middle of a board, I could slip thin boards underneath and actually go out the back of my CNC. You could do an angled cut, do like a picture frame. Everything is off the same zero, which means everything is always going to align properly because it's off the same reference point. So it's not just a one dimensional reference point, it's actually a three dimensional reference point because everything's against this flat, this flat, and that. So we've got a three dimensional locking system to line up and you don't even have to measure because you can just butt up your board this way and against this face, clamp it down and run it. And every time your boards are gonna fit together. Six by 40 millimeters, tap them in. They should be very, very snug because that's the way I designed my G-code. It's flush here, and that's zero glue. Let's say you want to put a loose tenon inside something for a picture frame. The way you do it is you take your two pieces and you put it against this back fence, line it up against this corner. And that becomes a reference guide. And then rather than putting it like this and cutting your tenon, what you have to do is you have to flip the piece and put it against this edge right here and line it up and then put this angled piece against this front edge and then clamp it down. Something like that. perfectly lined up on the ends. It's a little auxiliary fence and adjust your fence. Clamp it really good this way. I want to show you a little bit behind the scenes. Let's start with the main platform. It's much simpler than you might expect. I have a sandwich of five boards, plywood board that has a couple holes that T-bolts can come through. And then I have a couple particle boards. I've got a plywood board and then the main board here and a vertical board here. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. It is critical you see that I have an overhang on the top board that allows me to clamp. On the back, I went ahead and put L braces from shelving to put in my T-tracks here. This board, I have threaded inserts that I could put 
Remember right outer mount at different positions. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and show you what's behind here. This is just an auxiliary board. So just fit right over my original Z axis. I have threaded inserts that I could mount right or out or anywhere here. I didn't put in threaded inserts to mount this way. If I would have known I was going to do this, I would have also put a row going horizontally this way and never have to put on this board, line it up, catch the threads. And you can see very, very quickly, I've got that mounted and then I just mount my router this way, making sure that I have room to get to my power underneath. So I had to mount my router like this. So make sure that you think about that when you're making yours. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video and I'll teach you how to write some G-code.